session at two because I know it's after lunch okay so um, I apologize for my camera and my two screens I had to switch uh, computers today so just bear with me as I do this Ryan am I allowed to share screen here yes you should be able right. to share I'm gonna get started here um, so I am the tech trainer for the Wellington Market Center I've been a real estate agent for eight plus years I think eight or nine years um, assistant team leader well, as a buyer's agent first and then assistant team leader and then a team leader so I've kind of done all the hats um, except for MCA, I just refer to Becky Bell for that. She always helps me. And then my MCA is awesome as well. So she helps me. So um, yeah, I'm kind of well-rounded. Um, all right. So can you get everybody sees my screen here? Okay. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to let the tech trainers handle the chat for me. All right. So I, I have like your notepad, by the way. What? I like your notepad, by the way. That's interesting you said that. I've never done that. Yeah, so this is for me because I don't use it for everyone else. So like A is an action item, I is an idea, N is just a note. So yeah, so this is like all of our tech trainer stuff. When we when you guys throw out great ideas, of course I copy them and I put them here. Otherwise I'll forget. So yeah. Um, okay, so <clears throat> designs. So first of all, you know, I know everybody's been talking about the MREA book, right? So we always want to follow that MREA book to run our business. It's so key. If you're not doing that, if you've not read the MREA book, please, please, please get it out. Go ask your team leaders for one and read it and read it multiple times. Okay. So today I'm going to teach you designs and that's all part of that lead generation model. It's the prospecting and marketing. Um, it does um, a lot of amazing things. Not only does it do um, social graphics, you can do print materials, email templates, um, you know, some of those social graphics you use, we can use them for ads as well. Um, Ariel will tell you a little bit more about ads in, in his session, but take advantage of designs. You don't have to be a marketing whiz to, um, to do this. It's, it's pretty, it's fairly easy. I'm gonna show you how to do one fast because literally it takes like two minutes once you know what the functions are. So um, real quick, I like to start all my classes and I'm not gonna do this any different. If you guys don't know this, please write this down. If you need any help and you can't get your market center tech trainer or anyone else to help you, you can go, go to answers.kw.com. You could go to command and it will tell you anything and everything you need to know. Okay, so today we're gonna do designs. So all I would do is type in the word designs and hit enter. Sure, it doesn't wanna work for me today. It's slow. All right, so here's, here's it's got 76 results for designs, right? So getting started. So if you don't want to write anything down today, it's okay. Just go here, get started with designs. It does listing presentation, ordering prints, everything. Okay. So if you take nothing else away, take away KW, I mean, answers.kw.com. All righty. So when we're into, in command, log into command, we're going to go over here on this left-hand side of the applets. We're going to select designs. The screen that comes up right here, you guys, is your dashboard. It's everything that you've already created drops right here to, um, it's for a couple of reasons, right? It shows you everything that you've created. So if you need to use anything uh, over again and again, or you wanna update something. So I did an email banner. If uh, an address change, I could just go straight here and I could change it and update it and save it. Otherwise to create something new, we'd go to the top right, which we're gonna do in just a minute. 
A um, couple things I want to show you here. If you ever want to filter this dashboard and you want to see what are all my social uh, creations, you would just click um, that little arrow and select social and everything that was a social design work is going to pop up right here. So that's helpful too when you've done a ton of designs. As you can see, I do a lot of designs because I am testing and playing and, and what have you. You can also import a design. Um, what's really cool about this is you can bring in a PDF and uh, you can upload a PDF and you can have it broken apart and customizing it for yourself. So if you see someone out there um, that has done a PDF and you love it, um, but you wanna change it to customize it to you, definitely upload your design inside of here It'll break apart and you can customize it to you. All right, so we are going to go over here to create a design. This is the first thing you want to do when you want to start a brand new design. I take that back. The first thing you want to do is make sure your marketing profile is complete. Okay. Um, typically in our market center, when you onboard, we complete that. I don't know how it's done in your market centers, but just make sure that that's complete. And all you have to do is click on this. It will take you to it. What it does is you put in your, your um, name, phone number, email address, all the stuff that's going to auto populate into several features of command. Um, it's kind of like a one and done type of uh, thing. All right, here's how easy it is to create a design. We're going to create a design. You've got four options. You've got an email option. You have a social option, a print and a video. Okay. I'm going to do a social one today just because that's quick and easy and social media is such a huge part of our business but I will show you a couple other things that you can do in there that are also important for your business. If you are going to do a listing, um, advertising a listing, for example, you could actually click social and then check this box where it imports the photos and text from a listing. What that means is once you get in here, you'll put in the address and it'll pop up from Flex, all your, or, yeah, from the MLS, all of your photos and your details that you already have in there. It makes it super easy. If you forget to check that, it's okay. You can still go and grab it inside of that category there. And I'll show you where that's at. So then you're going to hit continue. And I'm just gonna pull someone else's um, listing here. So you type in your listing. Oops. <clears throat> and just remember, like if I wanted to advertise something in Iowa where I'm from, I literally could pull an address up in Iowa and it would pull up from that uh, MLS. So you have to be careful when you go here. You can see some of these places are not um, from Wellington or this area. I want to make sure I'm doing this Wellington one and select it and the most current one. Um, so here's that same address, but this is an old listing. So you don't, you don't want to pull that one. You want to pull the most current. So please make sure you're selecting the correct one. Okay. You will hit select. By the way, if you want to go here to all listings or only my listings, if you guys are heavy listers, you could click on only my listings and it'll pull up just your listings. Okay. Since I'm not a listing agent, I, uh, or since I don't really sell much real estate anymore, I am using this other person's. I am selecting my listing. And just to let you know, I'm on a slow computer. So if you're wondering why it takes so long, it's definitely my computer. And it's gonna pop up. Brett Bishop's going to build me a new computer. That'd be fantastic, Brett. Can you come finish setting up my uh, market center training room as well? <laughs> okay, you guys, before I design my social posts, which really will only take me like two minutes, I want you, I think the most important thing about designs is, is just knowing the basics. There, it's a robust uh, system. It's kind of similar to Canva. If you've done Canva before, you could really go down a rabbit hole and spend hours on here. Please do not overthink your designs, number one, um, and learn the layout and what all the, you know, what the pieces mean, like the basic pieces mean. First of all, where to find something. Right now at the top left, we're at templates. We have all these categories of stuff that we can use, okay? You click on the arrows next to them, they will open up and you can choose what kind of, um, what type of file you want, okay? So, 
All right, so you've got all these things for listings, coming soon for sale, listing presentation, under contract. Um, and just remember when you create a design, you literally can change pretty much everything about it. Color, font, sizes. So just um, pick one that you like. For buyers, if you're working with buyers or you wanna do buyer presentation, I recommend going to buyer presentation. If you are a new agent, um, hang on, let me go down here to business basics. If you are a new agent, I would go into business basics. Um, you got business cards here, your email signature banner. Um, our front desk, uh, our DOFI does it for us, but you can go in here and create it if you wanted to do your own. These are just templated for the size. So you literally could go in here and change the colors. So if you don't want red and you want all black, you can change that red to black or to white or whatever you want. So those are some things you might want to do is your email signature, business cards if you don't have it. Um, if you don't know what to post, definitely take advantage of under lead generation. You've got holiday greetings. Take advantage of those. So you could go into this 4th of July one and I don't like that baby blue. I could change that. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's really easy. It doesn't take long. So let me show you what this is going to look like. I'm going to close these because I think it's easier just to look at what we're working with. So you've got templates. If you go at the top here, my designs, those are all the designs you've created and your assets. So two very important suggestions are to make sure your marketing profile is done and then make sure your um, brand, your assets are done, which means you've got logos. If you have a logo you want to upload, let me just go there real quick for you. If you have a logo and it's done in a color, you can create your own palette of colors. So when you're in a design, those palette of colors will always pop up for you. So I always recommend everybody, if you're doing a branding, that you use your colors on everything. Um, just like Nike does. You guys pick up an orange box, you know that that's Nike. You don't even need to see the swoosh, right? You don't need to see the letters. You know that that's Nike. I always suggest agents do that when they're, you know, for social media, for marketing, for everything. I don't have a marketing degree though. So if you guys do, please, please use your tips. Um, this is just things I've picked up along the way. So you can create as many color palettes as you want. You would just go to new color palette and just start picking your colors, right? You would add them here. My advice on this is that you get with your market center tech trainer so they can show you how to do this. It's a whole lot faster. You don't need to spend two hours on it. Sit with them. They'll do it in 10 minutes. If you have fonts on your logo, that's a certain font and you wanna upload it, you can upload it right here. What's really important is your image, right? So your um, business picture, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you upload that here. Again, you guys, these, this assets here is just like, you're gonna dump all your basics of everything so that it'll auto-populate to your designs and you won't have to keep uploading your picture every time you wanna go do a design or, or a logo every time you wanna go do a logo. Same with text, you've commonly used text that you wanna use. Like, um, I don't speak Spanish by the way, but I was testing it with someone. Email, phone number, all these things that are commonly used, I want them to pop up. When I'm working with agents in my market center, I, I send them all of our Keller Williams uh, logos and they've got, we've got red, we've got black and gray, we've got white because different marketing it's gonna, you're gonna want those different colors. So upload that here. I'm telling you, it makes your life so much easier. And then if I don't have anything loaded for elements, but you could do stickers and objects, shapes and icons. If there's stuff that you use all the time, you're more than welcome to add those there. Same with videos and files, okay? Questions on that? I know the guys are monitoring the text or the chat, so. That's a good question, Kimberly. Can you set up assets for two market centers? Meaning, what exactly do you mean by that? You, so like if you're in two market centers, you could upload whatever you want. Isn't that correct, Ryan? Yeah, um, that's a little bit of a difficult one because of the fact, like she's saying in here, she oh, sells in Ohio, Ohio Florida. Florida. You can, you just would have to um, do some altering of the branding to try and put both of them in there. Um, if you are working like on a expansion team in two places, or just you have your license to two places, but you brand the same in both places, you just want to make sure you have the market centers um, logo with both market centers on there. It's like, it's a little bit tricky, but uh, it can be done. Yeah. And then I would, I would suggest, suggest you reach out to your market center tech trainer yeah. to 
to have them help you with that. Yep. Yep. That's a good question though. <clears throat> All right. So let's go back to um, templates here and I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started. Today I'm going to do, I'm going to advertise this listing that I, um, that I just pulled up for you just a minute ago. So you're going to click on listings. I'm going to click on just listed. Now, any category on the left that you click on, it's going to give you all, it's going to drop all these different types of templates that you can use. Okay. If you want to filter it by social wide, social square, uh, bifolds, postcards, you're going to select that category and it'll take away everything else and filter it by that. I like to do that. I don't like looking at this whole thing here. So I am going to do social square. Now, if you're like, what do I use square for? What do I use wide for? If you click on it right below that, it tells you the square format is for use on Instagram, Facebook posts, and LinkedIn posts. They, I mean, they could have made it any easier for us, right? Because I don't ever remember the difference in these things other than stories is obviously everyone knows stories. So now I've got it by my square here. I can pick any one of these. If I hover over it, the word use is gonna come up I just click on that and open it up. Again, I apologize. <laughs> My computer's slow. Do the right. Jeopardy music. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love it. Where's Andrew with his horn? Um, all right, you guys. So while this is populating, you see all the stuff just populated from this one I chose. Everything's on the left hand side that you're going to be using. And this workspace right here is what it's going to it's going to show you the view of everything. OK, this is the part where I told you get familiar with what these um, icons mean and how you can use them. OK, and, and stick to basics. Um, I promise you stick to basics, especially if this is not in your wheelhouse. Just stick to the basics. OK. So you have images, as you can see, because I put them in my assets, my images popped up here. If you wanna add any images, you click add. You can pull it from any of these platforms right here, or you can just upload it right here and it's gonna drop down here. Anything you add will drop down here, okay? You can also drag and drop, which is pretty cool. And then if you go to workspace, these folders right here have images for you to use. Keller Williams provided them for you. They're free. If I wanted to use any house interior photos for any kind of advertising or any kind of marketing I'm going to do, I could even a social post. If you want to do something and it talks about paint colors, maybe I want to use this one over here on the left with all the different paint colors, right? So they provide you with photos. Um, I think half the time people are like, where can I find a photo of this? Just go here. It just makes life so much easier. Text. It's just that you're gonna, you can choose adding text. So this already has the text on here, like all of this. If I wanted to add one more thing, I could just add it, that text box. And all I would do is click on it. If I wanted to do a title, anything I want, I would just click on it and it would drop over here. Okay, I'm gonna delete it. I'll explain a little bit more in a minute. Logos. Super important when you want to change out the DBA logo to yours. That's what we're going to use this logos for. Okay, and I'm going to come back to that. Elements. So we've got some stock elements in there. So if I wanted to use a fish in one of mine, I could. A banana. In any of these, any of these things. If you wanted to use this Facebook icon or Twitter icon, you could just click it and it'll drop over here and you can size it and move it wherever you want. Okay, so in the beginning, when I checked that little box that said import photos and listing, um, it, um, it should pop up right here, it normally does. If it does not pop up right there, you just go find your listing. So it, it, that box is nice to have, but if it doesn't work, then we just go here and do this. See how it pops up everything. Here's Nevada. I want to make sure I have the correct one. And it was this one. So I would just hit select. 
What's going to happen when I do that? Again, all the photos from the MLS will come up and all the listing details that were in the MLS will come up. Right here, it takes a little, it does take a little minute for the photos to come up. Um, so just give it a second for them to see them slowly populating. So I've got all the photos here. And if I click on listing details, those are key parts of the listing. If I wanted to use those, okay? I'm going to go back to photos. So for me, I like to start my designs by adding the listing, obviously, if I'm going to do this specific type of design. And I'm going to go to photos here in just a second. There we go. Now I want to replace this photo because that doesn't represent my listing. So what I, oops, sorry, everyone. That was, that was an accident. Let me delete that. That's probably a little confusing. So what I want to do is I want to click on that photo to replace. When I click on any item in designs, it's going to be highlighted in blue. Everybody see that? It's all highlighted in blue. Same with words, uh, the DBA logo, anything you want to change, you have to make sure it's highlighted in blue. What's really cool is I just want to replace this with another picture. So all I do is go over here. And it, I'm going to choose this first picture. So if I wanted to just replace it, it's that second symbol, the two arrows chasing each other, right? So the plus is if I want to add an image, the two circles is replace an image. And if I click that, it will replace the highlighted image. Any questions on that so far? Pretty easy, right? If I wanted to add another image, let's say I wanted to add this image here, I would just hit the plus sign. It's gonna drop it. See how it just drops it here? When you go to the top, you'll see these four circles on any uh, element that you ever choose. It all works the same way. I'm going to shrink the whole thing down. If I wanted to size it, I would use the little, I don't even know what these technically are called, but I would use these little straight lines and I would size it. So if it's like, I don't wanna see all that door there, maybe a little less rugged. Then I can move it anywhere I want on my, on my design. You can add as many pictures as you want. I always like to give just two or three pictures because um, I want them to reach out to me for more details. So you could do, do it however you want. Now, that was easy, right? So I added pictures. Let's change the DBA logo. I'm gonna click on it. It's highlighted in blue. I'm gonna go over here. And this is actually a luxury listing. so. Let's say I wanted to replace that with the luxury logo. I would just change it to the luxury logo. Pretty easy, right? Now, um, if, you, if you did this and you added it by mistake and you don't want it, if you just click on it and hit delete on your keyboard, it'll go away. Or you can use this trash can at the very top that will remove it. Okay? That's an important button because a lot of times you add stuff and you're like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Now, street not name and number. If I click on that, I've got a couple options. Okay, I can go back to KWLS and go back to my listing details and just hit that replace button and it'll replace the address. Okay, now you can see I ran out of room. So I like, oops. I wanna click it and just move it a little bit because I'm gonna grab this box. So I just click on this box below. And I'm going to move this down. And I tend to be a happy clicker, so I'm not very patient. So when you're, when you're like me and you like to click a lot, just you're going to want to slow it down just a little bit. Again, if you want to move anything, you want four arrows. You want those that cross there so you can move it. Whoops, see, I grabbed the wrong thing. I love it when I make a mistake and showing you. I'm gonna let my computer catch up because um, I'm clicking too much. Boom. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Um, all right, so there you go. Now, a couple things. If you wanna do contact me for details and you wanna add more information, you can also click on this box 
here's what's really cool about where you change fonts, colors, logos, I mean, um, sizes, everything. Here's your font. If you guys use Word, it's the same kind of setup, right? You just click that arrow, it'll drop down, and you can choose your font you want. Just want you guys to know I tested this before class today and it wasn't this slow, so I don't know what is going on with my computer here. There we go. <clears throat> so if I wanted, this is interesting, that's a language. Is that language new? I never, I've never seen the language before. Brian, is that new? Yeah, see, Andrew's never noticed that either. I'm, that trying cool. to, I'm trying to see where you're, oh, right there. Yeah, it did language. Yeah, that's new to me. Yeah, that is new. Okay, that's cool. Okay. I love that. All right, so um, I happen to like I this. I actually model. asked for that because we wanted to be able to do Spanish ones before, and I wish they would have told us. Yeah, right? I, I've never seen that, so. All right. You're so also at MCTT, so I'd be interested in seeing if other people have it too to see if they've uh, maybe put you into a lab. Oh, I've never been put into a lab. That would be fun. All right, so I changed the font. You can see it. I don't like it. It's a little bit small. So I can change that up here, or I can change it by those, those dots once I click on it. And I can make it bigger like that. But I want to show you guys the font size so you can see it. If I go to 36.0 and drop that little arrow down, just like in Word or anything else. Now, if I wanna add my name or if I wanted to do anything with this text box, if you guys click on this, if you double click it, you can actually start typing in that box. I don't love to do that. I like to go up here to this little icon called the typewriter and click on that because then it's gonna give me this big box on the left hand, I mean, on the right hand side, and then I can use that. And I actually like that much better. And then you would hit save changes. And then see how it populates there. And then I can always just adjust this box and make it bigger if I want, which I probably would. But it's really that easy when your computer's not as slow as mine. So, so a couple other things, if you've got branding and you don't like this gray, if you click on this gray spot, you will have a choice to change your colors up here. So you see where it shows you gray? I could also make it lighter if I like this, but I wanted it just a little bit lighter. I can drag this down like that and fade it out a little bit, which is pretty cool. Or I can go here and change the color to, if I want red, I can change it to red or pink or whatever color that is. Oh, it turned pink because I faded it out. Sorry, red is what we want. There's also an outline color. So if I wanted to uh, do an outline color, I could. And then I would just click off of it. I happen to like the, the gray myself. So again, my advice is you guys don't overthink this. Don't worry about that this line is uh, lined up or this box isn't lined up or no one's gonna see that but you. Just come in here, replace your picture, add your details, add the address, add whatever information you want and be done with it, okay? You want to make sure when you are done, if you go to the top right hand corner, please rename it. Rename it to something that will make sense to you. I actually like to name it the property address. And then I do um, social. That way I know it's a social post. If I want to download it so I can share it here, I can download it here. So if I want to download it as a JPEG, PNG, PDF, any of that, I can. Sometimes I will download it here and then upload it to Facebook, depending on if my Facebook's playing nice. Um, and I haven't done this in a while where I share it straight to Facebook. Uh, Ryan, have you, is it working pretty good now? Or Andrew? I don't like using it. Yeah. I don't suggest using it. I don't think it'll ever be, I kind of honestly wish we'd just take that part away, but we always give choice. Yeah, it's always gonna, and it's never going to change. It's always going to share like it's coming from WeBrand. You don't want to do that. 
Yeah. So that, that's my advice too. When I'm teaching this class to my agents is just download it, download it as a JPEG and then upload it to your social media. And you can still post it out. You know, if you wanted to do it, if I wanted to put this on for tomorrow, I can schedule that post. That's my advice too. So there are that's a lot Facebook of like, Facebook likes organic material anyways, the algorithm. So yeah. having it come from you is a lot better. That's a good point. That's a good call. Uh, a couple of important things real quick. I'm going to go back to this left-hand side. This auto saves, but I um, have been in, in designs before and have accidentally logged out. So I like to go and save after every few steps just because that's me. So if you want to do that, you can hit file save. Um, my advice is don't get into any of these other categories until you know designs really well because you'll lose your mind in all the cool things that it does. Um, the back button back button undo. That's always a good one to know. Um, that's the same in any platform, right? And then you have an option of drawing and shapes, frames and text. Again, my advice is you guys keep it simple, keep it to your branding and your colors. And it, it literally would take me two minutes. To, you know, normally it would, this takes me two minutes to do. And then I download it and share it on Facebook. It's that easy. Um, what questions do you guys have? I'm just trying to keep it basic because it does do a lot of things. Your market center tech trainer can certainly help you go into more pieces uh, in, in, in depth a little bit more. No questions, good, there'll be a test on this later. So Jessica, there's not any Spanish on there, huh? That seems strange. Yeah, right. absolutely about that. That's really, that's one of the main things that we wanted. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I find that very, very interesting. Um, I will tell you a, a little quick tip that I like as well. If I go back to home here, I don't want to save those changes. What's cool about um, when you're inside the designs, you can actually go in here and create folders and organize your designs. Um, I know there's a lot of high C's out there and want to be able to keep everything organized. Or if you have an admin, they like everything organized. So my advice is you can create a folder, whether you do it by address or social posts or whatever, decide how you want to create that. That way you're not looking at all the designs that you do. And then the other thing is, if you've done a just listed and you like the way that looks, do one and then just go into that same one each time and duplicate it and then change the address. Don't redo all this. So if I go to my designs at the top here, I'll show you exactly what I mean. OK, you can start. I'm going to just explain the screen just a minute here. You can start from blank for a design. This is where I was telling you can order, uh, import a PDF and it'll break it apart which is way cool. It's probably my favorite thing. Um, and then, and where you can use a template. So here, how I see I've created folders. I've done that for training, but all my just solds are in here, open house. If you do it that way, or just listed and you click on that folder, I can then go to this design. I can click on these three dots. I can duplicate it and then just change the name of it to the newest address. Let's rename, let's say this was the Briar one. Whoops, sorry guys. And then I can start using this one, but everything's already gonna be there except for the photos and the listing details. I would just click on it, open it, and then update it. So don't, don't, you know, keep redoing a new one. Just use one that you have and copy it. Um, so if you want to do a new folder, by the way, you're just going to click this tiny little icon on the right. You click new folder, name it, hit OK, and it drops there. And then you can just take your design and click on it and drag it up there. And as soon as you see it light up in blue, you let go and it drops it in there. Otherwise, when you come here, you're going to have every single design. So keep it organized, just like you keep your contacts organized with uh, group, I mean, with tags. Uh, this is you keeping it this organized with folders. 
What questions do you guys have? Is everyone sleeping? Because you're supposed to wait to fall asleep on Ariel's presentation, not mine. It's going great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lola. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Anything else you want me to show them? Let's design on a dime. So what, what are some of the uh, other features within designs that you could use to go to other places that would make it cheaper for them to advertise? So what are the features and benefits of designs that like if I wanted to advertise in other places, it would make it a lot easier? So like besides social? social? Yeah, besides well, social. What else could I do? Well, you don't necessarily have to open up the design and design it, but if you could just show some examples of that. Um, I guess I'm not sure what you're asking me for sure. Well, we've, of course we've got flyers that we can do, but we also have like door hangers. We have trifolds, we have postcards, oh. we have all the other, we have a magazine in there that oh. would cost a fortune to go do yourself, but that's going to be our lead generation. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so that's the, that's the coolest, newest one. If you guys haven't had an opportunity to look at that. Um, it's pretty cool. If you guys can go in there and check it out and then you can filter it just like you would. So if you wanted th this version here, if you wanted a booklet, you could go in here and create that. Right. And I, I would tell you guys at minimum, you know, you're going to do your business basics, your cards, your, um, signature banner, signature banner, but do a listing presentation. Can you I'm show not, that magazine real quick? Because it is really nice. Magazine? Yeah. And also the nice thing about this one this month is they actually made it with multiple covers on it. So if you don't like the cover they put on there, you can put a new one. I've got, I think three different ones. Right there. Yes. One of the questions in here is if for printing, can we save the file and get it printed anywhere? Yes. Is the answer. Yes. You can mm -hmm. print it anywhere you want. You also, if you don't want to print it, you could just, um, you can get a ebook done, which would make it. So it's like a magazine that flips on, the computer and you could just share that in an email with everybody or text them the link to it so they can look at it. So I think that this magazine and doing that is way better than um, some of the things we used to have in eEdge for those of you that have been around a little bit. That e magazine looks really cool. Yeah, the e-magazine is cool. However, as techie as I like to be, I still do <laughs> like having tangible things. Like I love having a nice magazine to have on my counter or to have on my um table next to my couch so sometimes it's nice to print that up and send it out sure. yeah so like if you have a vip list maybe that's what you're doing for your vip list is sending this out ryan would that be something you would do yeah definitely i would go through my a's or however you put it, your top 20 whoever in there and i would definitely make sure i send it out um and you can add to it you can remove it can you kind of just show real quick how to add pages and how to remove pages how to edit pages in here just briefly yeah so it's designed just like everything else as far as the top part, right? <clears throat> so if I wanted to, so here's page one, right? So I like this one. If I scroll down and I wanted to add any of these pages, I would just add, oopsie. It's coming. That added a blank page. Dude, where's your, uh, if you go to the pages tab on the right hand side, you can see what pages you have too. I did a blank page. That's why I did that. I did that earlier on accident too. So right down here at the bottom, you guys, it shows you the pages. There we go. And if I click it, it's going to show me my pages over here. Boy, this is not playing nice with me. You get used to show it loading there for you. It's not updating here. Uh, I can see it. It's, it seems like it's taking its time on your yeah. computer. Yeah, it is. It's cool, Actually, though. You can go in and change any of this, though. So if you wanted to brand out, your, you know, do your branding and what have you, you can. And then if you want to use any of the other pages, you can add the pages you see. So this is my second page. It shows you all the pages that you add right here. So it'll do that for your listing presentation as well. It'll show you all of the pages right here. If I wanted to do go a through there, there's different mm -hmm. things in there. There's articles on. Uh, there's three topics they put in there each uh, month. So there's three topics in there, like buyer and seller frequently asked questions. There's usually something about how to take care of your house 
Um, and you can also put in there your stats. Mm -hmm. And then you can also do a little bio on yourself. So you guys can pick and choose and customize this how you want. So if you don't want all those pages, that's the beauty of this. You can decide what pages you want, right? Yep, you got your featured listings you can put in there. There's your numbers and your experience. There's your bio. Success stories is great. You can put some of your success stories in there. So you look at all these choices over here and then you add them. And then this over here on the right is where your, what your presentation will actually look like when it's done. Once you're done, you just hit the download and download it as a PDF that's um, for printing. Yep. So if you have a preferred printer you like to go to, that's right here. You just hit download. And then just yes. download them. And then you can decide what pages, select all pages. So like if you make a mistake on one of the pages, what's really nice is you only have to fix the one and then reinsert it to everything, right? You don't have to keep doing the whole thing. Yeah, there's an office, was Office Depot that we have a partnership with you can send to them. They give you a discount. So Ryan, um, if you guys are looking at the chat, um, I know Peter had asked uh, da, 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 how, many, well, how many pages do we recommend? That's completely up to you. I mean, yeah. there's, there's no set number of pages that you have to have. I mean, you could duplicate some of these pages, like the success stories. You could put like three or four pages of that in there if you wanted to, to have more success stories in there. Um, I would obviously leave in all the articles they put in there because that's really the substance that's kind of drawing them into your book and your other stuff is kind of wrapping around it. So as you can see in between each one of the stories is the stuff about your business. It's almost like your commercial in between each one of their stories like you would see in Sports Illustrated. The only reason I don't go into this, I know um, one of you at, just asked a minute ago, I think Carleen, I apologize if I said your name wrong. Um, we don't, the, this magazine takes just a little bit longer. So get with your market center tech trainer and plus you'll be thankful because they're gonna have a faster computer than me right now. Um, <laughs> but they can walk you through that. Um, it's, it's a little more advanced than the regular social posts. So, um, and if you need help and you want me to help, I'm more than happy to help. If you can't get a hold of your MCTT, I can help you as well. Um, let's see what else. What other questions? I'm missing some questions here. I like how everyone wrote that they're awake. Thank you. I do want to point out, like, we, you can order prints through this, but they can only be one page print. So you could not do this magazine through WeBrand and have it printed up. But if you did want the easy button, you want to hit that order prints. When it comes up and you hit that, it's going to tell you it can't do it for this magazine. It can only do it for single pages. So if you have open house flyers or just listed, just um, sold flyers that you wanted to pass out in a neighborhood, you could order that way because that's a single page typically that you just print out. Now, if it's a couple pages, again, it won't do it. It would just have to be a single page flyer that you're printing up or a single page trifold, something like that that you're printing up. They'll print it up in whatever, I think it's up to a thousand in quantity and you could do it that way. If you needed more than a thousand, just order it multiple times. But right now it's just a thousand quantity, I believe it is. There's another question. Can you make mailers? Uh, just sold, just listed postcards. Those can all be done, yep. designed here, printed and delivered, correct? Not delivered. That they can only be delivered to like your office or something like that. They so drop ship in one, okay. They're not going to ship them out for you like we do in our mailers. Our mailers can. So if you're doing um, a mailer, you can pr you can design it right in here and then take it over into um, the mailer section in campaigns and do it right there. And they'll mail it out to you for yeah. you. Yeah, we've done some postcards like that. Um, I tested it out with the team and it actually came out really good. I don't recommend the standard postcard. It's super small, always the bigger ones. But it turned out really cool because she got to pick her area uh, we just did like the closest 200 houses around that. And it, it I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, the email templates are, is being asked about in there as well, Dora. Um, is these are just attached to an email and are not a body of the email. So when you're designing an uh, email in here in designs, you're actually designing the email. It's a, it's a HTML email. So when you go into like a smart plan and you attach a design to that smart plan, that's what that email will look like. like any of those other as you what i want to make sure i'm going to give you a little bit of a tip here though a lot of these email services they see your html emails as promotions and sometimes they don't come through as well if you 
want to make your email fancy, you can go ahead and do so and make it look really great and send it through. And your chances of it being opened are probably less. But if you actually sent something through almost like a text message, where it's just a simple email with a bit of text and it's not really, really long, your chances of getting that open are much higher. Just, just a hint. That's a good point. Can the magazine be included in our campaigns? If you take that magazine and you go to one of these e um, book sites that will turn your PDF into a magazine, then what you can do is you can insert that link into your um, smart plan or into your email so they can just click on it and open it. So there's not, you might be able to do it if you know how to do HTML coding and stuff. You can get the HTML code and pop it into one of your emails. That would probably take a bit of work. I haven't tried doing that before, but theoretically you, it would make sense that it can be done. Um, I would just stick to the link though. I think that's simpler. That's a good question. There you go, Ariel. Put one in there. Flip snack. Flip snack. Yeah, is it flip snack or flip snack? <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them out there that do it. <laughs> That's a pretty good one that Ariel put in there, though. Like, if you go to our website, I've got the old one up there. I haven't finished putting the new one up yet, but the site I'm using on there is pretty, really good too. It lets you do a bunch of them for free, and it doesn't put a whole bunch of branding all over it too, which is really nice. I can't even remember what the name of it is, but just go to kwsoftwareregion.com, go into resources, and you'll see the magazine in there. So let me ask you, Ryan, I'm going to ask as, because um, as a tech trainer, I do things just a little bit different. If I were a brand new agent or, or just a, a seasoned agent, and I'm like, what's the first thing I should do in, in, in uh, designs? What would you recommend as the RTT? Uh, my first thing I'm doing is going in and setting up uh, all my photos, all my fonts, all my stuff like you did in the assets. Get all your assets in place because that's going to make everything so much faster and easier to do. You're not going off and looking for it. When you get into a design and start designing it, it's just like cleaning your house. If you don't have all your tools ready to clean, then you're constantly going back and forth and you're probably walking over your mess and making more of a mess as you're cleaning. But if you have all your tools and you're ready to clean the house, then you just go for it and get it clean and you're done. Same thing in your designs. You got all your assets in place. When you go in there, you can pull your photos. You can pull your... Um, of yourself, your headshots. You can also pull your uh, logos for your market center and your, for your team, if you have a team or just your own personal logo and it's all in there, just as you were showing earlier. That, that's probably the number one thing. Everything else, just take your time and get in there and start playing with it first. If you've yeah. never used it before, you're not gonna hurt anything. Go in there and just start playing with it, learning it. That's how I'm, I just failed forward. Me too, me too. If anybody's used Canva, it, I think it is a little similar to Canva. It's so very similar to Canva. Yeah. It's like it's a little cousin. I, I got to tell you, though, if you go to answers.kw, it explains to you, like, there's articles where it'll tell you what each top, which category and icon mean. You just go here and use that. That was That's how I got in and played. But then when I didn't know, I went to answers.kw and, and got my answer right from there. Mm -hmm.